Hi, this is Helene here at the Hippocrates Health Institute. Today, I'm so excited to share with you a seasonal favorite of mine, spaghetti squash and spinach salad with an almond lime sauce. It's gonna be delicious and nutritious and provide health in every way imaginable because every ingredient in this dish is health giving, life giving. And it's healing your body and it's healing the planet all at once. So on the Hippocrates diet, we know that it's living foods primarily, but we do cook from time to time, and this is one of those opportunities. So we're gonna start with our star ingredient, spaghetti squash. When you're choosing your spaghetti squash, make sure that it's bright yellow. Sometimes they get pale, right? That doesn't mean it's a bad spaghetti squash, but you know, I love how bright this spaghetti squash is. So you're gonna be sure it's firm to the touch. And now these guys, are not easy to open. So you really gotta go in with a sharp knife, a big knife, and have some bravery, because you gotta put some muscle into it. You see, I'm, I'm struggling here. <laughs> but we're gonna get it. And I'd like to try to get it right down the center, because I'm gonna bake this without oil, because in Hippocrates, we don't wanna cook the oil, right? We don't wanna heat the oil, because when we heat oil, it oxidizes. So we wanna be able to cook it without the oil. And so what we're gonna do, is cook it face down. So I just got all the way through. Hold on. We're going to cook it face down. And what I mean by face down is we're going to cook it with this surface down. And it's going to create like a, a steam inside, right, in, as we're baking it. So I'm going to leave the seeds inside, unless you want to take a few out to dry and plant in your garden. A little tip for you there, which is an incredible way to keep the life going because life just wants to keep living. And nature is a great example of that, and so are your cells. So I'm gonna place this face down, and I try to get the both sides equally, the, you know, the same size, so that the baking time is the same. Because if one side is like super tiny and one side is really big, you're gonna have uneven baking times, which just complicates your life. Because we gotta make it simple, easy, and fun, right? Because we can't live this lifestyle any other way. So we've got these two beauties here face down, no oil. If you want to facilitate your cleanup, you just want to put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom and then it's like rinse and then you're done. So that's even faster. So I'm going to place this in the oven. I've preheated it to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and it needs a solid 45 minutes. And I'll let you know when it's done because we'll be able to put our finger in it. Right now it's super hard. I can't press into it. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven. While the spaghetti squash is cooking, we're going to save time, right? So we're going to get the rest of the salad put together so that as soon as the spaghetti squash is finished, we can just put it all together and have a fabulous meal. The next thing that takes a little bit of time is going to be broccoli. We're going to steam this broccoli till it's crisp, tender. So I want to go ahead and chop this a little bit. But before I start chopping, I'm going to heat my water so that the water's already boiling or close to it when I'm ready to put it in the pan. Time-saving tip. So I just added a little bit of water and I'm going to cover the pan because I want to optimize the heat. I have to say that in my kitchen, everybody who knows me who comes to my kitchen, Helene's Kitchen they call it, can't believe what I can accomplish in 10 minutes. And it's because of these time-saving tips that I'm sharing with you in this course that you too are going to be able to make it fast and easy, simple and fun. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut the base of the broccoli off. You can save this to peel for salads. Uh, you can shred it, uh, you can dip it. This should never be thrown away. It's so delicious, so sweet and tender. So I love eating the stalks of, sal of, of broccoli. And so what we have here are the florets. And I'm just gonna pull them apart. You can also use your knife for this. Not everybody is as comfortable using their hands as I am. I love getting my hands dirty. And honestly, that's kind of what we have to do as we have fun with it. And I'm going to cut this stalk off because it's just a little bit too rough. And some of you might just like the florets, but I like a little bit of the base too. But if you prefer just the, the tops, you know, you can keep yours, you know, sliced like this. 
but you know, I don't want to overcomplicate it. I'm just going to take this, this bit of broccoli. This is a little over a cup. I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to put it in the boiling water. Now you have to keep your mind a little bit on the broccoli because you just want it crisp tender, which is right around five minutes, depending on your cookware, your heat, the temperature of your water, but it's not going to take very long. So I've just spread that out in a single layer. If you have a, a steamer basket, you could use that, but I've just put it in there with a tiny bit of water at the bottom. So while that's steaming, I'm going to come back and think about the salad that I'm going to be making. Spaghetti squash, why do they call it that? Because the strands are so thin, it's almost like pasta. And it is a versatile vegetable. And in season right now, where I am, in the fall months, squash is a fabulous seasonal vegetable to eat. We always try to eat with the season. So if you don't know what vegetables are in season where you are, find out. We have resources provided for you so you can look up and see what fruits and vegetables are in season in your area of the world. Because you could be in China, you could be in Argentina, who knows? But find out and start to get familiar with the land and what the land is providing. Because one thing we know about the Hippocrates diet is that it is in alignment with nature's law. It's in alignment with the way nature works. And that's why it restores your health. That's why you regain your vitality. It's really simple, actually. So the base of our salad is going to be spinach, this glorious pre-washed and dried spinach. This you can find just about everywhere, anytime. But winter is technically, winter, spring, and, and even fall are the months that are the height for spinach. Now, you could use any green. Uh, I like spinach because we're going to put the hot squash on the spinach and it's going to wilt. It's going to kind of pre-cook the spinach without us actually cooking the spinach, which is another time-saving tip. So we're going to prepare, we're going to prepare the garnishes. We're going to prepare the garnishes now, one of them being cilantro. Oh, love cilantro. I love fresh herbs of all kinds, but cilantro is one of my all-time favorites. It helps us to, to reduce our heavy metal load in our bodies. It helps to cleanse us. It helps to create beautiful skin. And gosh, it's also beautiful. So we get a big benefit from using cilantro as a garnish in this dish. So I'm just preparing this so that when it's all ready to go, we can top our salad and enjoy it. So this I'm going to put to the side. Next is going to be our shallots. Now, if you don't have shallots in your area of the world, you know, an onion will do. I would prefer to use a sweet onion, but any onion will do. You could even use spring onions. I'm using a shallot because, well, you know me, I love purple food. And shallots are a little bit purple, and they have a certain flavor that I, I really want for, for, this, for this salad. So I'm basically cutting off the tops and bottoms and gently peeling away the skin. Now, the, the grandmother's recipe, you know, to cure a cold is always to eat onions and garlic, isn't it? Why is that, right? There must be immune boosting properties in this, in this onion family, right? And there are. And gosh, you know, uh, what vegetable makes you cry like an onion? I mean, there's, these are powerful, powerful foods. And the more green you can get in your life, the more colors, here we have purple, you can get into your life, the better your health will be. And as you can see, the way I'm chopping, I'm not a trained chef. I'm not a pro chef. I'm a home chef. And so are you. Some of you might be professional chefs, but I want everyone to know that you don't need to be a chef in order to make this lifestyle possible and accessible for you. Now, one thing's for sure, everybody who starts this diet and starts living this lifestyle, people ask them, what are you doing? Gosh, you, you look so beautiful, you've lost so much weight, you seem younger, more, more vitality, you're more energetic, you're so much more positive. It's just what happens, it's contagious. So by sharing this lifestyle, it's not by talking about it, it's by living it. It's by making choices when you go to the grocery store of buying things that are gonna bring vitality into your life, things that are health-giving, ingredients that are health-giving.
Now, if you don't want to mince it up, you can just slice it in round, save yourself some time. I'm mincing it just because I want an evenly dispersed flavor. So I want the little, little tiny bits of onion to go in the salad. I'm going to put this right back in my dish so that when I'm ready to put my salad together, it'll be ready too. The next ingredient that I'm going to slice to include in our salad are these soaked and dehydrated almonds. And this is more of a level two conversation. A level two conversation meaning that this is taking you an extra step. You can just use raw almonds. You don't need to have them soaked and dehydrated. But these happen to be soaked and dehydrated. One thing about these almonds is that they have a certain kind of crunch. That's why we love to soak and dehydrate them and then use them. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but you'll notice the difference. Many of us love roasted nuts has a certain kind of crunch to it. And that texture takes us a long way in terms of our satisfaction when we're adopting this new diet and lifestyle. So now I'm just gonna chop these so that they're easier to use. You can even hear the difference, right? They're not as dense, they're, they're lighter, right? So, but really, I don't wanna get too wrapped up in that. You can just use, um, what you've got, which might just be raw almonds, and that's fantastic, more than enough. But you know, I'm totally, I totally geek out about this stuff. Like, I just am so interested and so into it. But the bottom line is just, you know, how can we just live it, right? Level one is all about how to live it. You can hear that, you know, it's really, really crunchy. Roasted nuts have a, you know, not the best fat for you, right? Because nuts, we know, hemp seed, sesame seed, sunflower seed, we don't really want to be heating these oils, right? We don't want to heat any oils, but we definitely don't want to be heating oils from nuts and seeds. These nuts need to be stored in dark containers in cool places or else they'll go rancid. So by eating roasted nuts, people think that eating nuts is healthy for them, and it is if they're raw, if they're organic. Right, so very important for you to realize uh, how important it is to bring your snacks with you, to source your ingredients from ethical places, to be sure the nuts and seeds, oh, I smell that the broccoli is done. The broccoli is done. My mind was with you. All right, here we go. Beautiful. So now I'm going to take this broccoli, crisp tender. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So you don't want it to be too soft. Broccoli is part of the cruciferous family, right? So it's part of the cabbage family, and it's extremely healthy. Now, broccoli sprouts are gonna be substantially more healthy, but broccoli is sweet, the mouth texture is so fine, and it's wonderful to include broccoli in your life. You know, and, and children tend to love broccoli for some reason. They just adore it. And so including broccoli in your diet and life helps to create beautiful skin. It helps to prevent cancer. It helps to provide your intestines with fiber. So it's a wonderful, wonderful food to include in your life. And I'm gonna already put it on top of my salad because I want it to warm the salad. Sometimes on a raw food diet, you know, when we're trying to ever increasingly have more raw food, we, we miss that, that warm feeling when we eat. And so right now we're not cooking the spinach. We're increasingly f warming this dish so that it's very satisfying. And that level of satiation, a lot of people doubt that they're going to get on the Hippocrates diet. They think, oh, well, is a salad really enough? How am I ever gonna get full on sprouts? Uh, is that really enough nutrients? And I can assure you it is. It is enough nutrients. You'll feel more full or fuller than you've ever felt in your life. And it's kind of surprising because it just doesn't really add up. <laughs> You're eating the salad. How can I get full on that? But they're so packed full of nutrients. And although this isn't a heavily sprout-based dish, this would be considered a side dish alongside a large sprout salad. So these almonds are just about chopped. We don't want them too fine because we still want that crunch, right? And I'm doing this here as opposed to in the food processor or the blender because I just want like, them fine. I want them finely sliced. I mean, 
I don't want them fine. I want them large. I want them crunchy. I want them just like this. But I don't want them whole. Because again, in order to get the flavor of the almonds, the texture of the almonds to distribute itself, I have to chop it up a little bit. Gorgeous, just right. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side. Welcome back. The squash is ready and boy, is it beautiful and it smells so good. And it's so tender to the touch. See, when I touch it, it pokes inward like this. So it's nice and tender. So it's really hot. Like, so you definitely don't want to be touching that at home. So I'm actually going to take it in my hand here. I might need to, I don't have a good grip with that. I might just have to feel it burn a little bit. But here you can see it's totally soft. I mean, it's just so well cooked through. This took me about, this was a big uh, spaghetti squash. So it takes about 45 minutes. So you need a bit of time. Mmm, smells so good. And these seeds, you know, you could always, you know, use them, I guess. I, I don't know, I wouldn't. I always just uh, compost them. Some people like to, to, to use them for, for other things, but, but I don't. Because, you know, any seed has, you know, fat in it. And it's life-giving. And when you roast it, it, it doesn't really give life anymore. So I think we only need half of the squash. I don't think we need the whole squash. So I'm just going to move the squash back to the oven so that we can put our salad together. So I'm just going to spoon out the squash onto the salad. So you see the spaghetti squash? You see how it's, it's these long strands, kind of like spaghetti, right, the texture. And I want to use it when it's hot because I want to wilt the spinach. And sometimes when we're living the Hippocrates diet, we just need that sensation of a warm, comforting meal. And this provides that. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> so you can see the smoke rising, right? And so we don't really want to cook the spinach because, you know, we know by now that the more green foods you can get in your life, the healthier and more vital and vibrant you're going to be. And so we've got this green spinach and we don't want to cook it. We've cooked the, uh, we've cooked the broccoli a little bit. Now we've got this gorgeous color. Look at this, beta carotene. That's the color of beta carotene, which is so great for your eyes and for your skin. And now we've got the squash. I'm just gonna take a few tablespoons of this wonderful almond butter lime dressing and put it in here because I wanna toss the salad right now while it's hot with this dressing. And what's gonna happen, I know I'm making a bit of a mess, but that's to be expected. A messy kitchen is a kitchen that's been used. And frankly, a good cook uses what she has, is what my mother used to tell me. Spinach is a food that's rich in iron and it's alkalizing. We love spinach because it's what I call nature's fast food. It is so easy to find everywhere you go. And its chlorophyll content was really the focus and the studies that Dr. Williams did at the University of Oregon at the Linus Pauling Institute. When he studied phytonutrient therapy, he was showing that the chlorophyll content in spinach was superior and causing a lot of the positive outcomes they were having in their research. So we know that it's a great source of chlorophyll, which helps our cells to grow and proliferate to become new in a healthy way without any mutations to our DNA, which can cause disease. So now we have a nice dressed salad. And what we're going to add to it are these chopped almonds. And these beautiful shallots. Mm, that should be enough. 
and some sesame seeds, rich in calcium, rich in potassium, also containing iron. I mean, gosh, this is just a nutrient-packed lunch or dinner here. Oh my goodness, we have potassium, magnesium, beta-carotene, vitamin E. I mean, it's so rich in plant-based nutrients. And here we have our salad. It's ready to be enjoyed. I'm just going to give it a smell. Mmm, that cilantro really adds that edge that I'm looking for. I just have to give it a little try because I'm curious. Does it need more dressing? Does it need more of something? Less of something else? Let's give it a try. I want to get a little bit of squash in this bite. Let me see. Mmm. Exactly as I thought. I can taste all the flavors. I can taste the garlic, I can taste the ginger, I can taste the almonds. And even though each flavor stands on its own, it comes together beautifully. And I get that warm, comforting feeling that I'm looking for from this delicious and nutritious spaghetti squash. So I hope you enjoy this dish just as much as I do. And I can't wait to share more like this with you in this culinary program.